Hi kids. I hope you had a great day. So uh, I don't have the camera on because I kind of don't look fixed up enough for you little darlings. So we're just going to read a story. And this is coming from a site called Christ Art. It's Christian books and illustrated storybooks, animal tales. And this is about Faithful Frankie. Once there was a little town with small houses and narrow streets. In this town lived Mr. Smith and his horse, Frankie. Three days a week, Mr. Smith would hitch a cart to Frankie. Then he would load the cart with fruit and vegetables and set off round town. At nearly every house, Mr. Smith stopped his cart and someone from the house would come out and buy something. For many years, the coming of Mr. Smith and Frankie was a familiar sight, but one morning, just after Mr. Smith had finished hitching his cart and loading it up, he began to feel rather sick. I think I might be catching a cold, he said. We might have to cancel the deliveries. Frankie knew that his owner was not a rich man. Some weeks, he made just enough to pay the bills and not much more. So when Mr. Smith said the deliveries might be canceled, Frankie knew what he would have to do. When Mr. Smith went into the house to have a lie down, Frankie set off with the cart. He knew exactly where to go because he had walked the same streets so many times. He went around the corner and stopped outside the first house. At first, nobody seemed to notice him. So Frankie snorted and whinnied and pawed the road with his foot. That did the trick. A door opened and a woman came out with her purse. What, she said, no driver today? Is Mr. Smith sick? Frankie nodded his head. What a faithful horse you are, said the woman. Here, I'll buy that cabbage and here's a little extra for your owner. The woman put the money into an old rusty tin, which Mr. Smith used for keeping the change. I'm sorry, some of the pages are a little cut off at the bottom there. Frankie snorted a thank you and walked on. At the second house, the same thing happened, only this time it was an old man who came out to buy something. I'll take this bag of apples, he said, and here's a little extra for your master. I hope he gets better soon. Thank you, snorted Frankie, and he walked on. All the way around the town went the faithful old horse. He stopped at all the houses, and he waited for the people to come. They all gave him a little extra for his master. Then Frankie turned his head for home and walked slowly back. When he got there, Mr. Smith was watching from the window. There you are, said Mr. Smith, coming out to greet him. I must have fallen asleep. When I woke, you were gone. Are you all right? Where did you go? Frankie reached around and picked up the rusty tin with his teeth. What's this? gasped Mr. Smith. You've been selling things from the cart? Mr. Smith opened the can and smiled with delight. Well, this is marvelous, he said. The people of this town are so kind. Frankie snorted in agreement. <laughs> Mr. Smith gave Frankie extra carrots with his dinner that night, and he threw a blanket over Frankie's back to keep him warm. You know, said Mr. Smith, I really appreciate your faithfulness to me. You didn't have to work today, but you knew there was a job to be done, so you did it. I'm glad you aren't a lazy horse. That's okay, snorted Frankie. Later that night, before Mr. Smith went to sleep, he opened his Bible and read a story that Jesus told to his disciples. It was about a servant who was faithful with just a few small things and a ruler who wanted to reward the servant. Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will make you a ruler over many things. Matthew twenty five twenty three. When the ruler saw that the servant had been faithful to him, 
He said, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Mr. Smith prayed, Dear Lord, please help me to be faithful like Frankie and do the things that you ask me to do, even if it is a very small thing. Then Mr. Smith went to sleep. Two days later, he was well enough to do the deliveries again, and with some extra money, he bought Frankie a bright straw hat to wear on hot days. <laughs> Grammy loves you guys. You're wonderful, and I hope you remember to say your prayers. God's listening. We love you.